Hello, this is uh, KFI PBR, and uh, I'm just making a quick video on the Baofeng UV5R and uh, just the different antennas you can use with it. So, um, first I'll go over the connector and uh, pretty much it's a little bit it's a little bit different than an normal HT. Uh, it has an SMA connector, but as you can see. The connector on the radio is a male connector, so it is almost flush with the radio. Uh, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. Uh, I guess it might make it a little bit stronger on the on the antenna connector, um, but it definitely limits the your choices as far as. Uh, antennas that you can put on it um because most duck antennas uh are sma male on the antenna uh, whereas on the antenna for the uv5r you get a female connector on the antenna so there are three that i found three ducks that would uh, be an upgrade to the standard rubber duck. Um, and they are the Comet SMA24J, the Diamond SRJ77CA, and the MFJ1717SF. Um, and all three of these antennas are really similar, uh, similar in length and gain. Um, you just have to look it up and uh, see what best suits your needs. But the one I have is the uh, MFJ 1717SF. Um, and basically what they did with this antenna is they took an, a 1717S, as you can see it just says 1717S on it, and they added a little adapter to it. So it's an SMA female adapter that they screwed on and it's screwed on really tight so I'm a little afraid to, to try to take it off and, and see what you know if it really is just an adapter or if, uh, that's a solid part of the radio or the antenna um, so I'll probably just leave it alone but uh, that's what it appears to be it appears to be uh, an adapter screwed on to the standard 1717 S antenna um, so yeah, your choices are going to be a little limited on uh, just ducks that you can put straight onto the radio. Um, but, I mean, you could look on the internet and find a, an adapter uh, that might work. Um, but definitely try to find something that's going to sit flush with the with the connector so there's not too much stress on the uh on the uh, or that sits flush with the radio, so there's not much stress on the connector. Um, I would definitely, you know, look at that. And one thing that does worry me a little bit about this is that it de this antenna does not sit flush with the uh, with the radio itself. As you can see, there's a little gap, like a really small gap. So um, I might try to add a washer to it or something like that, uh, just to give it more stability. Um, but the antenna is pretty flexible, so I'm not terribly worried about it. Uh, I mean, as you can see, I mean, you can bend it all you want, and um, and it really doesn't do much. I mean, it goes right back to where it was. So, um, and this antenna is a quarter wave on two meters, and then a half wave, I believe, on 70 centimeters. So, um, and it's about 15 and three quarters inches long, or something like that. So uh, it's a it's a pretty big uh, step up from the standard rubber duck antenna. So I would definitely recommend getting something you know to get you a little bit better range um, in your in the handheld. Um, but uh, as far as uh, connecting other antennas, uh, like external antennas, uh, maybe fox hunting antennas, or uh, you know something that you want to put up higher, uh, it's really not that big a deal having a different connector. Um, they make a lot of uh, adapters that uh, will have like an SMA female, and it'll go to a um, 
a UHF female in it as you know maybe a 19 inch uh, coaxial cable to uh, you know so it doesn't have too much stress on the radio. Uh, so you could do something like that. Um, there's also solid connectors you know that are maybe about an inch or two long that would go SMA to UHF. Um, that's going to be a little bit more stress on the radio. Um, because you, you, I mean, if you connect a big UHF cable to it, um, and that's you know moving around, that's really going to put some stress on the radio. So uh, just be careful with that. Um, but uh, definitely, it, it's not a big deal uh, if you want to connect a, a bigger antenna to it. Um, there's a lot of different options for that, and uh, that shouldn't be a big deal. But um, that's about it for uh, antennas on this uh, radio. Um, and definitely, oh, and also, uh, this, the, the Ocean radios uh, also use this uh, male connector on the radio. Um, so, if you see an Ocean antenna, that will probably work with this radio as well. Um, so, uh, and as the, I mean, these radios are becoming really popular right now. The, the Chinese radios, the Oceans, and the, ba the Baofangs. So, um... I definitely think we'll see more uh, antennas that come with the female connector in the future uh, if this becomes a trend with the Chinese radios. So uh, definitely keep an eye out on that um, as there's more demand for antennas with these uh, female connectors. You know, the market will provide it. So uh, wouldn't be worried about that either. So uh, you might just uh, wait a little bit and see uh, what comes out. Um, but that's about it for uh, antennas on the Baofeng UV5R. And uh, this is KF5 PVR. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, 73s.